Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a little Hobby Lobby unbagging. We're going to be looking at some of the stuff I got from my Hobby Lobby haul. I'm probably going to break this up into two videos just to let you know in case you wanted to see the whole Hobby Lobby haul experience. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I want to show you not only what I got, but what I actually am intending to use the yarn for. So we're going to be looking at patterns and all these patterns that I talk about are going to be in the description below as always as well as other helpful information regarding this video. Let's jump in. So to get this party rolling we're going to start off with the non-yarn items that I got because my shopping trip to this sale involved three trips to Hobby Lobby and that is because my store is late to do any kind of markdowns. My store's markdowns did not start until Tuesday or Monday which yeah it's crazy and I went in there with my oldest son on the first day and expecting to see all this yarn that everybody else has been showing on their channel and all I saw was some notions and a couple of kits. So what I got from that was first this Fox kit. Now I actually own the little camper one that came with this collection, but this is the Fox and he retailed for $9.99 and he was marked down to $2.49. Obviously with this, I'm going to be utilizing the pattern that comes with it because I think it's super adorable. Now I am going to say I did buy some things as far as giveaways and I'm not going to be showing that stuff today. They are already taken out of this and put up in the giveaway bin. I also saw that they had these little cute embroidery hook loop kits marked down and I did buy a couple of these. I got this one. And these also retail for $10 and they were marked down for $1.74. And the purpose of me buying this was because I would like to have decorate my entire yarn barn with all kind of handmade things. I really like these because they incorporate crochet, but then there's some embroidery stuff here. And I really want to learn to do embroidery. I already cross stitch, but embroidery stitches... I don't know anything about like at all so this is going to push me to do that along with some kits I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago that I've already packed up in effort to prepare for the move to the yarn barn but that is one of the kits that I got and I love it I love the I don't know what this stitch right here is but I love how that looks with that white flower so I'm curious to see how that works on crochet fabric it looks a little difficult, I'm not going to lie. And then I got two of the smaller ones. They had this B one that retailed for $5.99, a marked down to $1.99. And I love bees and I love flowers. And I'm just like, that's going to be cute somewhere together. But then they also had this one. Same price, $5.99, marked down to $1.49 not 49 so my thing is I think I'm gonna make all three of these and then I can kind of stack them on a wall like that and that way if there's a place that is not very wide then that would be a great place to display these three things I also picked up some of these these are the yarnology card organizers and I'm kind of curious like I see this on the front I'm guessing this is a magnet but I don't know why the magnets on the front and why the magnet is not on the back like that really threw me off but I want to use these for when I do things like my temperature snake or any other blankets that I have planned where there's lots of colors and I am assigning them to the pattern because I love to do shawls and basically anything that has a lot of color but I never like to stick with the colors that the pattern uses and typically I like to go off on my own color tangent and this way I can associate the color that I'm using with whatever color they're using in the pattern or in the photo so I can have a visual kind of reminder of what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm a very very visual person and these help typically I literally just get 
pieces of paper and tape yarn to it. But I'm like, this is so much cuter, and I can just slip this in the project bag, and it doesn't look crazy. <laughs> so I'm excited to have nice organization for that. I got one of these. These are $4.99, and it was marked down to $1.24 at my store. It's a keychain that has a B on it with yarn. And the reason I got this is because this is going to be the keychain for the key for the yarn barn because I'm like how perfect is that yeah I'm excited about that one and it's killed me not to open it up and put it on there yet so know that I love you enough that I have not opened that naturally I got some cable needles I do enjoy needle <laughs> I do enjoy needling I do enjoy knitting cables and crocheting cables well I guess you only use them for knitting knitting only hmm let's start that over I really enjoy knitting cables without cable needles on smaller ones but sometimes there's just a lot going on and a cable needle can be a girl's best friend if you're trying to watch stuff on TV and cable or have a kid call you away at the same time so I got some more of these because I am always losing these things and then finding them but still losing them. I also picked up one of their little tape measures and it has an alpaca on one side and it says yarn rules dun 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 on the other. This retailed for $4.99 and it was marked down to $1.24. I keep tape measures in almost every project bag. As far as other notions, I did get these. Now, if you are kind of newer to knitting and crochet, if you ever see these on clearance and you ever tend to make garments that possibly could be seamed, or if you quilt, or if you like to sew in general, these are always a great item to pick up. These are magic clips, and I like these especially because the sewing machine doesn't like go crazy if you kind of hit it but they are great for holding pieces together as you crochet or seam them together or as you sew and I have some of these in my sewing supplies and I needed some more because over the years I've kind of lost them and I was super excited to find these regular $14.99 for $3.24 bargain bargain I also picked up some of these. These are gift tags. They retail for $3.99, but they're on clearance for $0.99. Cents. And to be honest, I like them because of the alpaca and the plant. But there's a yarn ball that says created with care. And then there's a plant that says just for you. And then the alpaca says handmade with love. And I'm going to be honest, I do not knit or crochet gifts very often. It is actually very rare. I only do it for special, special people and for when there's a new baby. <laughs> it just doesn't happen a lot. Mainly because I just don't have a lot of time. So, it is what it is. But I'm going to use those for when I do. I did get this little room decor, obviously, for the yarn barn. It says Yarn Queen and it has like this little yarn going through here. This was $5.99, but it was marked down to $1.49. And I'm like, hmm, that'd be cute for the yarn barn for $1.49. So it came home with me. I also got this. This was $7.99 retail, but I got it for $1.99. And you can do it like this and make it like a little flower. But I think what I'm going to do is just slide those down. And then you can even stick like a photo in it to have on your desk and it says hooked on joy but I thought that was really cute for $1.49 and I love the colors so it's a yarn born purchase I did get another one of the key changed this one is the monkey with the yarn on it I have been wanting these literally since I've seen these but I was not gonna pay four dollars and ninety nine cents for a keychain I'm just not gonna do it so this one is either going to go on, probably on my luggage, I don't know, or maybe on one of my knitting bags. 
I would put it on my car keys, but I have a fob that I don't ever actually use. It never comes out of my purse. But I really wanted both of these. I don't know. I don't think it's something cute. And then I got one of these. <laughs> Funny story about this. These were $7.99 and they were retail $1.99. I love the farmhouse style as well as like boho style and I understand that farmhouse style is going out to style whatever I enjoy it I live out in the country it just works for me and you always see these little beaded things so I'm trying to think of something really cute to use this for and I know I'm gonna have a lot of bookcases in my my yarn barn and I, they're most of the part they're going to be pretty tall but I'm going to have some that are lower that I can decorate and I'm thinking about just kind of having certain yarn in a bowl and just kind of having it so maybe the alpaca hangs out I don't know but it was a dollar 99 and I've always wanted one of these stupid bead things because you see them everywhere on the Pinterest and all these other places and I'm like I'm not paying a lot of money for one of those wooden bee things so at $1.99, not only did I get the bead thing, but it has a wooden alpaca. So I kind of felt like it was a no-brainer. <laughs> That's why that was purchased. <laughs> I did grab one of these frames. I think it's adorable. It says, you are the yarn to my stash. And I'm going to be putting a picture of my husband in this. Because I love my husband. And he supports my crazy this retailed for $5.99 and I paid $1.49 for it and I'm so glad I got it. I think it's going to be adorable sitting somewhere with me and the hubs. Mr. Yarny chilling amongst the yarns. I did also get a, another one of the yarn organizers and this is more for floss because I do enjoy cross stitching. This one is like a thicker cardboard. These usually don't last very long, unfortunately, but it was regular $2.99. It was only 74 cents. And I don't cross stitch that often. I like to start them. Like I haven't even really worked on my koala lately. It's sitting right there by the bed so I can work on it. But I do have things that I want to make. And again, I like to keep my flosses organized. And these things are what I used for that purpose. And it's always nice to have them on hand. And for 74 cents, it's one of those that you can't really pass up. The last notiony type thing I purchased was these coasters for obviously the yarn barn. These are the Yarnology $4.99 coasters. There is a total of four in here. They were marked down to $1.24. I'm just gonna mute this out as I open it. So these are pretty cute. I didn't even know what they were when I saw them originally in my store. But this one says it's a good day for yarn. This one says yarn makes me happy. This one says time to unwind. This one says one more row. Now, they're cute in their own right, but I may jazz these up some because I have plans to do that. So let's have to wait and see what those plans are. Can't be telling all my secrets. As far as the yarn, the first thing that I picked up when I went back, I think on the second trip to there, because I hadn't even started marking down the yarn yet on the first trip, and that's why I really only got the Notions and Room Decor, and that was one of these pigment and fibers. Now this is the Goodness Grapefruit. This is color 08, and to be quite honest, I have been collecting these for about a year and a half because they retail for $8 and I don't ever really get to get to Hobby Lobby when they have the sale 
and I need a bunch of these because I'm making a huge blanket or that's my goal for them there was a video that I'm gonna pop in as I'm talking right here where I recorded I laid them all out in a gradient and I recorded going up but my my vision is to do some kind of simple granny style blanket utilizing the colors in that way so it's just just a gorgeous gradient rainbow of joy and I would like to make it big enough that it fits a queen to king size bed so that's why I've been slowly buying these up for that purpose however my store had one of these colors left and when I saw it there I knew I was gonna buy it yes but it dawned on me how pretty this palette is and the more I look at it, the more I'm not sure if I just want to stick it in a blanket where I don't get to see it in this form. These retail for $7.99 and I got this for $1.99. And these are fingering weight yarn number one. They are a 60% acrylic, 20% wool, and 20% nylon. It is 150 grams, which is 5.2 ounces, and 630 yards, which is 576 meters for all you meterage people. <laughs> I think I want to do something else with this. I'm thinking some kind of cow or even some kind of color work hat. And I don't know if I want to do knitting or crochet. So I don't really have a pattern per se to share with you on this one. Because honestly, I'm kind of wanting to design something. I have a notebook of things that I've jot down it, that I've jot down it, that I've jot down that I've wanted to design over the years, and I'm kind of ready to dabble into that. I have done enough pattern tests that I have a pretty good idea, but I do want to learn more. So if you know of a great resource, you know, please share that down below. I'm not opposed to buying books, um, but I really want to learn about grading patterns for size inclusive to all as far as the different sizes, but I have to learn to do that first. But I kind of want to play around and these colors excite me enough to get me started on that journey. I do have one pattern that is up on Ravelry for free. I will link that down below in case you're interested in seeing that. And you can also find me on Ravelry through that. But that is probably what I'm going to use this for is some kind of color work hat or cowl. Because I really enjoy the colors a lot. A lot. Especially these four. It's very spring, and it's kind of like retro spring to me, which I think what speaks to me even more. The next yarn that I got was not the hand dye, because I'm saving all that for its own video, to be quite honest with you, because that is what I mainly bought. I went in there with the intention of only buying that and a couple of the notions that I showed, but I mainly just wanted to get the hand dye fingering weight yarn, because that's what I mainly use. And when I make shawls and I make hats, I like to do color work. Or I like to just use multiple colors in one project. And if I knit a shawl, then I usually use anywhere from three to four, sometimes five skeins of free run weight yarn. I like big shawls and they make me happy. So that I will be showing on a separate video. But I did pick up one of these Yarn Bee Chunky Knits. Now on my channel, there is a video of me making this fall wreath with a um, Michael's Chunky Yarn. It was the velour stuff. And I made that fall wreath. And I mentioned that there was this the pattern I used was actually meant for a Christmas style wreath that I kind of used how to put the yarn over the foam um, reef and all that information is in that video I will link that down below if you're interested and I will put it up in the cards but I did get one of these chunky knits because I am wanting to make a Christmas style reef and I love this color like it just kind of reminds me of the cozy knit blanket that you would want to cuddle up with around Christmas time and I think it's just a really pretty 
not white, but not like mm, dirty white, just a, a country white, which I'm in the country. So this is the Yarn Bee Chunky Knit Ivory. It is 17.5 ounces and 30 yards. It retailed for $19.99, and that is why I have never bought one. <laughs> but I got it on clearance for $4.99, which is a bargain of a deal. Yes, yes, yes. This is probably going to peel like nobody's business because of the halo on the yarn, which is fine. It's going to be on a reef, so I don't really care. But I do like it. It is 50% acrylic, 35% polyamide, and only 15% wool. It's a number seven yarn jumbo. So this is going to be a Christmas style reef. And I'm probably going to break this out and maybe make this during my Christmas in July. Where I kind of plan on making all the Christmas things in July. And watching a lot of Hallmark movies because they usually do this whole Christmas in July movie-a-thon. And it's just a lot of fun to sit and craft to. Only got one of these. And I've been wanting to try this. I love this color. You see? Love yellow. This is a yarn B, a must be merino in the tobacco colorway. This is a 50% merino wool, 25% acrylic, and 25% nylon. And this is also a, a number three DK weight yarn. And it's really, really soft. It's really, really pretty. It retails for $7.99. And I got it for $1.99. There's all of its deets. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 227 yards, 208 meters. And what I plan on making with this is going to be this right here. So this is a Milo. This pattern is by Georgie and Nicholson. This pattern is a paid-for pattern. It retails for $6, and it has been made 15,352 times. It is simply adorable, and I want to make this pattern because it is a very neutral pattern and could be used for a girl as a dress or even a vest, and then even for a little boy as a little vest to wear over a little button-up shirt. I just think... This tobacco color would look amazing in that style knit. And it would be something that can grow with the child. So as the child grows, that little dress can just be like a shirt or a vest. You know, it, is, it has a lot of wear ability to it in that aspect. And it's been something that I've been wanting to make for a long time. And so it is going to be made out of this and go into my bag of wee knits to put up for my future grandbabies. The next thing that I want to show is these things. And these are so soft. Oh my goodness, they're so soft. This is Burnett Forever Fleece. And I don't even know, it's almost like this woolen spun happiness. These are a yarn weight number six, super bulky, and it is a 100% polyester, is 9.9 .9 ounces, 280 grams, 194 yards, and 177 meters. I'm trying to get better at speaking meters for my over the pond friends. But this is so soft and you may be thinking like what are you going to do with that well friends if you remember back to the video where i talked about all my amamagori books and i mentioned how i wanted to make the big roly-poly this is my roly-poly it's going to be anyways i'm going to link that video down below as well as in the cards as well as this individual pattern but that is what this is going to be. And in case you forgot what he looks like, I'm going to use this for his belly and this darker color for his back. Because around here, that is what a majority of our 
um, isopods or roly polies, pill bugs, look like. And he's going to be super, super snuggable because this stuff is so, so soft. And I'm going to be honest, it is taking everything I have not to cast this on right now because I have 23 whips that I'm trying to get to a somewhat manageable number. <laughs> but the struggle is so real because this is soft and he's just going to be adorable. The last thing I got as far as acrylic blend yarns is some of this Yarn B Nature's Nook. And I just got a couple of these in all the colors that they had. And the reason to show you all the colorways is because I love this style of yarn. It looks like it is somewhat of a tonal dyed. I love the knits which make it almost tweedy and it just makes me very, very happy. Originally, I planned on doing some kind of maybe like blanket, but the more I look at these, I think I want to use like maybe these in a hat. I'm hoping I have enough to get two hats out of it. They are individually 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards, and 165 meters. They are 54% acrylic and 28% lysol and 18% flax. They're a number four weight yarn, which is a worsted weight medium yarn. And they retail for $5.99 and I got these for $1.50 a piece. And I love the colorways. But then I started really looking at them and it goes back to that wanting to design some things. And I think this would be a great color palette to design something with. And one of the things I'm wanting to design or create is I have this chair and it's one of those kind of like wooden rocker gliders that is in all the baby stores because it was the chair that I used to sit in when I would um, feed my boys and I kept it my mom's actually has it in her basement right now but I'm wanting to bring that over when I get the yarn barn and crochet or knit some kind of cushion covers for it because it just has that gingham blue and white plaid that's very baby I mean it just speaks baby nursery but I would love to create something out of this color palette with these for that chair. It's currently like a darker chocolatey wood, so I'm not sure. I may just try to leave the wood long because that would be a nightmare. But then again, I may try to strip it and then make it lighter wood and put this on there because that would be really, really pretty. But that could also be a pain in the neck, so we'll just have to see how that part goes. But I'm really wanting to... I think I want to make some kind of cushion covers for that out of this yarn and I'm I'm all for it like I am I am hands down ready for it so that is what this is going to be consider it only paid a dollar 49 a piece for these that means this set if I can get it out of just this yarn which is almost 2,000 yards of yarn would only have cost me 20 bucks I can't even buy covers for the cushions for that price and I get to make it and make it my own. So I'm very excited about that upcoming project. So that's all I really have as far as the non-hand dyed portion of yarn that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and the Notions. I would love to know, did you buy any of these yarns that I personally bought or any of the Notions? And if you did, do you already have plans for the yarns that you bought? And maybe you bought others that I didn't even buy did you go in there with a plan of action or did you just go in there and buy what you felt drawn to? I would love to know your processes. So make sure you leave those in the comment below. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and you can see what's happening in the next video here.